she look like she a, she hood hood. I don't know. I don't know. So the guy who I spoke to, he told me I got the guy who I spoke to, he told me I gotta go straight to find um to find those the clothes. So what's going on over here? Check this out. Orange juice girls, man, I tell you. It's all about the orange juice girls. Just come to Brazil looking for straight orange juice girls. It's Isa la Camara. Isa. Mira, um, 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 Sim, para, para, para a gente. And man, just thinking about the Jamaican food, man, make sure y'all check out my homeboy, Orange Freestyle Adventures. That's the name of this channel. I'm gonna put the link right here, or maybe I might put it in the bottom. Make sure y'all check him out, man, because the man got that curry chicken, the, the, the jerk chicken, all that good, good Jamaican food, man. So make sure you check him out, man, on his channel. Subscribe to get him to What's up, man? It's another video with your boy Checking Effect, and we in Brazil. You already know what time it is. We in downtown. Um, now, I know it's like, who is this crazy dude walking in downtown with a camera out by himself like this? This is crazy, it's insane. But at the same time, I'm gonna let you guys know why I'm here, man. Let you see where I'm at right now. The reason why I'm here is because I am going to a, uh, a soccer match. I'm going to a soccer match this Saturday with Flamingo. Flamingo, Flamingo is, one, is supposedly one of the best soccer teams here you know which is called over here it's called fuji ball so um so uh the the people who i'm going with they um yeah i know guys this look kind of a little sketchy over here man i already know i already know uh <laughs> so anyway the people who i'm going with hold on the people who i'm going with they're they're getting shirts with their names on the back they're getting shirts with their names on the back so uh they're getting shirts with their names on the back um they're getting shirts with their names on the back so uh, i gotta actually go buy a flamingo shirt give her the shirt and she's gonna put my name on the back so that's why i'm here and i figured since why since i'm here looking for a flamingo jersey i might as well try some traditional brazilian food to show you guys let me turn this camera around because this area right here kind of kind of uh you know suspect when it's suspect, I gotta turn the camera. You already know. Valeu? Yeah, opa. So, um, I'm gonna continue talking. Oh, man. Got people in the park looking at me. Valeu, valeu. See, that's how you gotta do it, man, when you come through there, man. You gotta just, you know what I mean? You just gotta be like, hey, 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 hey. You know, I try to deepen my voice a little bit and kind of mingle with the people. Um, and I'm gonna make another statement right quick. Let me just walk over here. Hola. Mira, ¿a dónde hopa? Hopas. Sí. Ahí. Camisa de Flamengo. Camisa do Flamengo. Na loja do Flamengo? Sim, sim. Na loja específica ou qualquer loja? Não, 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 não. A roupa como camisa de Flamengo. Por esse jogo, esse sábado. Aqui nesse final, aqui lá na Uruguaiana. E aqui por dentro também tem um monte de loja. Você tira a roupa lá, você tira. Ok, ok, baby. <risos> ok, baby. Oh, baby. <risos> oh, my God. It's starting already. So, anyway. Oh. Turn the camera. 
So anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, I went to Vigigal and I got, well, I ain't get, I got robbed in Vigigal, but not, th not that type of robbed, like not strong arm robbed. I paid a tour guide to show me around and this guy didn't even show me around. It started raining, so I asked for my money back and dude straight up told me, hey man, I'm trying to talk to this chick, I'm trying to smash. So uh, I was like, well, since it's raining and we're not doing the tour, he's like, oh, just come back when it's not raining and we'll do the tour. I said, all right. Just because the business was so bad, I decided not to come at all. Um, so what I did was uh, um, I lost my money. So uh, shout out to Raquel. Shout out to Raquel. She's uh, well. Damn, she's gonna be mad if she if she watched this video. She's gonna be so mad at me because her name is Raquel. You know, English is the R is pronounced with a J with a H in Portuguese. So her name is really Raquel, and she don't like to be called Raquel. So she goes by Kel. And I just said Raquel, so she's probably gonna be mad. Sorry, Raquel. Anyway. She knows the area of Vigigal, so she's gonna go ahead and do the tour. And so tomorrow, I'm meeting up to give her a shirt, and she's actually gonna do a tour of Vigigal. So you guys stay tuned for that video, man. It's gonna be a fire video, real tour. She speaks, Kel speaks perfect English and Portuguese. She's Brazilian, so it's about to go down. So that's why I'm here trying to find the jerseys, just so I can put, so I can give it to her, put my name on the back, and be ready. So we're supposed to be doing Vigigal tomorrow, which is whatever that day is and then saturday we're going to the game well yeah supposedly all right let's get it all right all right all right so uh i feel like i was supposed to okay This, this area is like a mixture of hood people, like people from the hood and people outside of the hood. It's like a mix of everything. All right, so anyway, man, I made a video. Damn, man. I'm a, huh? Damn, hold on. Right, let me, hold on one second. Let me bring the camera down. Hola, onde onde eu onde você uh, comprar roupa de Flamengo por el juego ese sábado ese sábado el juego Flamengo sábado sí preciso sí preciso de un, un camisa por eso sí aquí Vende roupa? Ok. Obrigado, obrigado. Sí. Well, it looked like this might not have been a good place to come to look for a shirt, man. The only reason why I came here because I wanted to try traditional food, uh, Brazilian food, and they say over here is where they have the really good traditional Brazilian food. So that's why I came here, but I don't think it was a good idea. I tried to kill two birds with one stone, but it looks like it might have not been a good idea. But hopefully we, we find something. So let's walk on this side, because this side seems a little bit safer. So we're going to come over here. Boom, boom. Yeah, side seems a little safer. I know the last video um, you guys was uh, talking about my book bag. I don't wear the book bag. I just wore it that day. This right here is really more of a decoy. This is really a decoy. This is where I keep my camera, but my camera I'm actually recording. There's really nothing in here. So if somebody steals this, this book bag is more of a decoy. You know, they steal it. It's all good. Take it. It's yours. There's really nothing in here but condoms. <laughs> I mean, that's it. All right, we are getting somewhere. This is more starting to look like something that is somewhere that'll sell clothes and shirts and stuff. 
So we're going to find, we're going to keep going. Even though more people is safer, but it's actually not because people can like really rob you and um, they'll be, they could be gone within the crowd. So more people is actually worse than less people because somebody rob you, chase after them, you know where he's going. But if somebody rob you in a crowd, he could disappear within the crowd. Just the other day in um, Copacabana, I saw a lady get, um, I, I saw a white lady get robbed by somebody from a favela. Well, I don't know if the dude was from, from a favela, but I'm assuming he was. And she got robbed. And it was crazy because uh, she was crying. She was like, she was like crying and there was two guys next to her, two white guys. So they ran, went running. This is in Copacabana. She had on jury and they went running after the dude and dude just, he was kind of stupid to run in the sand. Cause all you gotta do is walk and run in the sidewalk and you'll catch up. But the dude chasing him went in the sand and he ended up cutting down the corner. And after he cut down the corner, that was it, man. It was, it was a wrap. He was done. He was gone and the lady was crying. I could have probably caught him, no lie, because I had on tennis shoes and I'm not a slow runner. Um, but truth of the matter is, I ain't want to set myself up and get myself involved. You know what I'm saying? Like two things that could have happened. I could have ran. They could have thought I was part of it. The police attacked me. That could be one. Um, second thing that could have happened is um, I could have uh, I could have maybe caught him and maybe he would have sent his goons out on me. Oh, loco, no? Shit. All right, guys, so we getting a little show right here. So you guys gonna see a little show while we walk and get this shirt. It's not nice, nice little show. Yeah, man, just for the record, Brazilian love American music, man. Like, they really rock American music. Heavy. Like, real heavy. Like, you don't hear no Spanish music, but you will hear a lot of American music. Like, you're not going to hear Spanish music unless you're going to, like, a club where it's, like, a group of tourists or something like that. Mostly tourists are there, like a tour spot. Um, that's where you see a lot of... Uh, a lot of... American, uh, Spanish music. What is this? What's going on over here? See, that's what I need. See that shirt? Uh, that's the shirt that I need right there. Damn, that was kind of rude of me. What's going on over here? Check this out. Oh. What's, oh. No, todo bem, todo bem. Todo bem. I don't know if I'm supposed to record this, so I'm going to back off. Oh, these, I'm not going to record this because these are like little kid stuff. There's nothing but kids. I'm not going to record that. So I'm assuming in here, I'm assuming in here I could find a shirt. Ooh. That girl is some thick, thick, thick. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, turn the camera off, see if I can find somewhere that sells shirts. So this place right here don't really, this place here don't really sell, they don't sell uh, clothes. They just basically, uh, they basically, um, they basically have um, like shirts. No, I mean, not shirts, but food. 
So that part, this part would have been good for me to get food if I was gonna get some food. But shirts, let me let me see if uh, maybe this this lady knows. She look like she a, she hood hood. I don't know. Hola, hola, hola. Onde você compra camisa de flamingo? Aqui, de aqui. Como, como camisa, porque voy al, al el juego de Flamingo Sábado, Ajá. necesito una camisa. ¿Camisa? Sí. Poxa. Camisa en Flamingo, sí, solamente Flamingo, solamente Flamingo. Sí, sí, yo pregunto, yo no conozco a dónde yo era de Flamingo, Ajá. pero si preguntar a algunos niños, ¿no? Es un, un camisa de Flamingo en todo lado. No, but I'm going to ask you if you're going to ask me. Okay, okay. Gracias. She's going to ask this guy right here. Where are you? He said directly here. It's Ruayana, that's what it's called. Okay, okay. Gracias. How are you? Isabel. Isabel. Check it. It's a pleasure. Obrigado. All right, so I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to go this way. So, we are in the area that sells uh, clothes. I see clothes. So I know I'm in the right, I know I'm in the right area. you guys man I'm gonna let you guys know something do I feel Brazil is dangerous or safe I don't I feel it's in the middle of both I feel Brazil is a double-edged sword it can be dangerous and it's and it cannot be dangerous it's like dangerous and not dangerous at the same time um, I'm taking a little a lot more chances because I'm walking around with a camera than an average person but I feel like if I was walking through here just normal, no camera, and I keep make sure my phone is in my pocket and I'm not out like, you know, just slipping, I don't think I would anyone will would just randomly rob you. Now I seen it happen in Copacabana, but this lady she was slipping. She had, she had the um, she had the camera. I mean, she had her uh, hey, Valio, she had her her necklace on, and that was an easy snatch and grab. You know, so she was, you know, she shouldn't have came out there with her necklace. I felt bad because she was crying, but, you know, she shouldn't have came out there with her necklace. So, um, so yeah. Hey, All right, man, I got to find this shirt because I'm starting to get hungry. I got to find this shirt. I'm starving.
I, I should be able to find um, jerseys over here. I figure since I'm doing this shopping for Jersey, you guys can get a, a view of the of Brazil, the people, the culture. I'm gonna probably try some uh, a snack somewhere. Um, oh yeah. Hey, onde é camisa 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 é flamengo camisa flamengo. Em baixo. Aí? Oh, ok. Vai embora, lá no final. La próxima, la próxima escada. Vai embora, vai embora. Vai embora, ok. Oh, going the wrong way. So the guy who I spoke to, he told me I got. The guy who I spoke to, he told me I gotta go straight to find um to find those the clothes. So I'm almost there, man. I'm I'm gonna make it. I'm almost there. I'm starting to get hungry now. So it's like, yo, is either eat first and then get the shirt, or shirt first and and eat. But I'm getting kind of hungry right now. So I gotta I gotta make a move. I gotta bust a move. And then on top of that, if you look up top, it looks like it's gonna rain. Like, so, you know, I don't want to get caught up in the rain. But I think I'm almost there. He said it's down this way. So, we'll see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. See a different Wow. Damn, this lady was just talking to me, man. And um, somebody got her for, somebody sold her a fake ring. And she was showing it to me, but I wasn't recording. Somebody got, somebody got her good. Fake ring. How much? Grande? GG. GG. GG dela? Found a spot that got shirts right here. These are shirts that I need. Right here. Da nova tem? No GG. GG da nova tem? Tirar no estoque não? Não. Para pegar para tu no estoque. Não, não, tá bem, tá bem. Tá bem. Graças. Obrigado, obrigado. Obrigado. The reason why I told the lady, this lady was trying to help me. This lady was trying to help me, but I told her that's okay because I know the game, I know how it works. She's really showing me because the guy who's selling it to me is going to sell it more and then she's going to get a cut. So that's why I told her, don't, I'm good, I'm good. If you don't, if they, if you don't have it in your station, then I go, I could walk around and find it in someone else's station. So I don't have to like literally, you know, have you walk around and show me. I'm, I got two legs. I'm gonna get this. Esse é o pai. Quarenta. Ah, desculpe. Esse oh. Smith? Desculpe. Will Smith? Ele disse que eu pareço como Will Smith. Deixa eu ver, deixa eu ver. Deixa eu ver. Deixa eu ver. Deixa eu ver. Deixa I wasn't, I didn't even come here about to get sandals. But it don't hurt to get sandals. 40, 40.
Opa! Obrigado. Obrigado, obrigado a você. I mean, come here for sandals and end up getting sandals. It's crazy. Hey, you remember how I said I ended up buying the shirt, but um, the guy wouldn't let me record for some reason, so I don't know why, but he felt some type of way. But remember how I told you guys that these women that sell orange juices, for some reason, it's like they pick the finest girls that sell orange juices. Every place I go, I always find a nice looking woman that sell orange juice. I actually just found two right now. So, but let me show you the shirt that I got. All right, quick. So this is the Flamingo shirt. So I got the Flamingo shirt right here. And Kel is gonna put my name in the back of this Flamingo shirt. So I got the Flamingo shirt. Now I'm gonna drink some orange and get something to eat because I am like starving, starving. I mean like when I say starving, I am starving. Orange juice girls. Otra. Otra. Uno también. O mío con poco azúcar. Oi? O mío con poco azúcar. Sí. Sí. Boys juice girls, man, I tell you. It's all about the orange juice girls. Just come to Brazil looking for straight orange juice girls. Você mora aqui? Você mora aqui? Olha que você é um Eu Eu Aqui eles me Olha o pino, a câmera do telefone dele, tá? Deixa eu ver. Rafaela. Ah, esse aqui é o microfone. Fala no microfone. Fala o que? Voltou a trabalhar aqui? Não, vou voltar. Deitou, né? Voltou a trabalhar aí? É o que? Dona da Vela? É. É, oh, look, You look good. Bonita, bonita. Bonita. É o que? Tá americano? Sim, sí, Miami. Ah, tá de Miami. Sim. Seguidores. Ah, tem posto de canal. Sim, sí, tenho, tenho muitos seguidores. É? No Instagram. É, mentira. E no YouTube. Sim, sí, para mim. Você tem Instagram? Oi. Não tem Instagram, não, só Facebook e Twitter. Não tem Instagram. Não. Você tem Instagram? Não. Não tem Instagram. Too bad. Não tem Instagram. Bye, bye. A câmera do telefone dele é maravilhosa agora. Isso é isso aí, a câmera. Isso. Mira, um, onde, onde posso comer comida tradicional de aqui? Um, comida bom, muito bom, mas tradicional de aqui. Sim, para, para, para a gente. Deixa eu ver um lugar bom aqui, Rafael, para almoçar. Eu gosto muito. Para meus seguidores. Aqui tem, ele tem, falou que ele tem vários seguidores no Instagram. Aí tu quer mostrar lá. Ah, para mis seguidores. Un, un comis, uh, yeah, I walked. I walked out of there. You know what's so funny? 
you know what's so funny is I'm recording. Every time I record, I always record these juice ladies. I always buy drinks from them and record. And it was so weird because I'm recording and it's an older lady sitting down and she's like, oh, you got to pay me for my face being on the camera. I'm like, I'm not even recording you. But then she started like acting up. So I just gave her like five AOs, which is not even, I don't even know what that. I think that's a dollar, bro. So it is what it is, which, which was weird because I wasn't even recording her. All right, guys, we made it out to Madness. Now the last stop is finding traditional Brazilian food. So I'm going to have to try to find a restaurant somewhere around here that got traditional Brazilian food. So, um, And then that's going to be the end of it. So I'm starving. I really want to eat so bad right now. But I want to check out a good restaurant. So let's go. so crazy man I was not even recording that lady and she's asking for money for showing her face I'm like what but I don't want no trouble I don't want no problems so I gave it to her they got AC they must be like the more expensive high class stuff Where can we find a nice restaurant at? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. The thing is, you don't want to ask anyone who's like selling stuff, like any vendors that got food, because obviously they're going to want you to buy their food. They're going to like tell you to buy their food or or if they're selling snacks, they're going to want you to buy their snacks. And if I eat their food, then I won't be able to try to tradition, show you guys a traditional plate. So we're just going to keep walking until we find a decent restaurant with traditional food. Hola. Hola. Hay um, un restaurante aquí que tiene comida muy bon. Sim, aqui tem comida boa. Olha, tem restaurante ali embaixo, só não tem se é boa. Como, como você chama? Aqui, só não tem aqui. É Jovem Guarda. Tem um aqui. Aqui? Abaixo? Isso, aqui embaixo. E tem um aqui. restaurante lá em cima. Ok. Tá como você chama lá em cima? Lá em cima é o segundo andar. É um negócio de frango. 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 Obrigado. Alright, so I didn't get the name for the one in the bottom, but she told me the one in the top is called Frango. So I'm gonna go check out the restaurant up top. That's called Frango. And we're gonna have the food there. So we're gonna check that out right now. Frango. Where is the restaurant that's called Frango? A restaurant that's called... Ah, okay. Thank you. So we got, no, we got to go another level. Another level up. Let's go. Alright, so this is the floor that has nothing but restaurants. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to look for Frango. And I'm going to eat there. Try to find a frango. 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 Alright, so I found the restaurant. Um, the reason why I couldn't find it 
the girl said frango, which is galeto, is the same thing as frango. So that's why I couldn't find it because. So we're gonna go ahead and try this galeto food right here. See that? Galeto. So that's why we couldn't find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down somewhere and get some good some food. Sí, estoy haciendo un video de ese restaurante. Estoy filmando un video de ese video de este restaurante. Quiero, yo quiero comer comida tradicional de Brasil. ¿Ok? I say less. I say say less. ¿Cuál es tradicional? ¿Cuál? Aquí hay comida tradicional de Kyo Galeto. Aqui é o galeto? Galeto. Tá. Ok, vamos. Isso. Aí, aí aqui temos arroz, batata, farofa. Você escolhe aqui as bandições. Ok, aqui é galeto com batata. Só batata? Arroz, ah. não, farofa. Ah, oh, arroz. Arroz. Arroz? Arroz oh, branco. Farofa. Os pode ser todos. Falofa, falofa. falofa. Sim, batata, farofa. Não, 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 batata. É muito, é muito, é muito. Solo. Não, pode ser um pouco de cada. Sim, um pouco de cada. Como. Batata, arroz, farofa. Não batata, porque arroz e batata. Uh. Ah, então só arroz e farofa. Sim. Obi... Megaleto inteiro. Sim, sim, megaleto inteiro. Obrigado. Alright, so um, there we. Alright, there we have it. Traditional. Posso ver? Sim. Ah, ah, posso ver? Sim. There we have it. Traditional Brazilian food right here, and that they give all the food comes with that. Is it queso? Queso? Farofa. Farofa. That's called farofa. Farofa. Okay. And then you got the chicken. Um, yeah. Right. Frango. Is it frango? Yeah. Um, same. Same. Shimano. All right. So I'm gonna taste this and let you guys know how it tastes. Obrigado. Muito obrigado. Try the chicken. Damn, it's hard to eat with the camera in your hand at the same time. I ain't got to tell y'all if food is good because it's hard to find bad food in Brazil. Like, you really got to go to like an off-brand restaurant to find bad food. Just the chicken alone is well seasoned. Another day accomplished. The food is delicious. Um, maybe I might try a different dish because this was just too plain, but it, it didn't taste plain. It was very delicious. Matter of fact, speaking of food, man, I plan to do to do a Jamaica trip pretty soon, and I do want to try the food in Jamaica. I'm planning to maybe even link up with some other YouTubers who do uh, who's like chefs and does cooks. And man, just thinking about the Jamaican food, man, make sure y'all check out my homeboy. Orange Freestyle Adventures. That's the name of this channel. I'm going to put the link right here or maybe I might put it in the bottom. Make sure y'all check him out, man. Try to get this guy to a thousand subscribers. Let's help him get to a thousand subscribers. I think he's like at 400, like 500 right now. Let's, let's get him to that a thousand subscribers so he can be monetized because the man got that curry chicken, the, the, the jerk chicken, all that good, good Jamaican food, man. So make sure you check him out, man, on his channel. Subscribe to get him to that thousand. And when I do go to Jamaica, I am going to link up with a couple of people and try the, 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 the real Jamaican authentic food. So you already know what time it is, man. Checking effect and we out the building. Mission accomplished.